Assalamualaikum. I'm your host, Attorney Muslim Minakil. We feel honored. We feel uh, saying thank you to everyone who are watching our videos, and it it feels like an honor addressing your queries regarding the admiralty laws over here in Pakistan. Receiving your questions about the maritime ambiguities, addressing them within the domain of our admiralty jurisdictions. So, what I have noticed so far is that I have been receiving a number of emails from the importers and the exporters, and uh, obviously we would not disclose their names since uh, they are the business tycoons who are who are doing their trades over the oceans, who are having a bad experience of uh, uh, ocean frights, the disturbances, the challenges we have over the seas and the oceans. So, un logo ne jo humse queries ki, un mein sabse important cheez ye thi, what is the bill of laden? Bill of laden se gaate hain, B-O-L, what is that? Or uh, what are the types? Aaj hum log un cheez se ho discuss karenge. Here's a disclaimer. We all are making these videos to seek knowledge, to impart knowledge. Any, um, any kind of uh, misconception and uh, any kind of things that are left unaddressed must be emailed to us so we can make a tentative answer to your queries and email it to you. Our email is attorneymuslim at gmail.com and you can visit our website at www.mbalegal.pk So getting to the topic, uh, the very first thing we are going to discuss is uh, the bill of lading. And what is a bill of lading? Bill of lading is a receipt, is uh, an evidence that your cargo has been sent via ship from a particular ship on which the name of the ship is uh, inscribed described and what is the content that you have been sending off what is your cargo about what is the net worth of your cargo and by what time it is supposed to reach and who is going to uh, receive your car uh, cargo who is the consignee to the cargo there are different things that are mentioned on the bill of laden so number one is uh, when we are talking about the types of BOL, Bill of Laden, uh, it is uh, number one the ocean BOL. What is ocean BOL? If the consignment is transported by sea nationally or internationally, uh, ocean BOL, Bill of Laden is used. Ocean Bill of Laden is common term used in um, the shipping uh, when we are sending our cargoes from one place to another. After we have the ocean Bill of Laden, we have inland bill of lading uh, as your name indicates inland bill of lading uh, allows a shipping carrier ship cargo ro uh, by rail road across the domestic land but not uh, the land uh, overseas that uh, is not included in the inland bill of lading there is another type of bill of lading the third one that is the received BOL received bill of lading received bill of lading for shipment bill BOL can be issued to the shipper immediately upon the receipt of goods by the carrier after the necessary export custom clearance and the procedures of exporting to that country have taken place that is the received BOL ke hume wo cheez receive ho gayi hai ab now what we are supposed to do with the bill of lading the fourth one is direct bill of lading. What is direct bill of lading? Direct bill of lading is used when you know the same vessel that picked up the cargo will deliver it to your destination that has been prescribed and it happens most of the time for which we get the sh ship arrested. And when we arrest the ship arrest and we ship arrest, then the ship is the same as the ship is the same carelessness. Pe, uh, जब उसे एंकर कर दिया जाता है पर डे ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड डॉलर्स टू फिफ्टी थाउजेंड डॉलर्स कॉस्ट होता है बट दे आर शिपिंग कंपनीज डेट इज नॉट बिग अमाउंट टू दैम बट स्टिल दे अवॉइड इट एंड इफ समवन डज डैट एंड वी कम टू नो थ्रू आवर इंटेलिजेंस सो 
the, we, we got them arrested through our maritime security agency. So we were talking about the direct BOL. Now after direct BOL, um, we have thorough BOL. Under a thorough BOL, Bill of Lighting Shipping, courier can pass cargo through several different modes of transportation or several distribution centers. Uh, uh, th through BOL, uh, like as uh, you can understand in a way, it is passing through different stages. For the purpose, it is called through BOL, like it has to pass through different distribution centers, um, different modes of transportation, like where there are no uh, waterways, water passages, so they have to uh, opt up for the lands, so it is a through BOL. After through BOL, we have multi-model transport BOL. As the name indicates, what is multi-model transport BOL? Multi-model transport BOL is a BOL bill of laden that involves minimum uh, of two different modes of transportation. Modes of transportation can be anything from freight boat to land or air. That is included in the multi-model bill of laden. So you see there are different bill of laden like people don't know about it. When, we, uh, when um, there was a question uh, lastly, I had about what is a clean BOL. So uh, this one's for you. Uh, what is a clean BOL? If a consignment with no damage to the package, on the package, apparently carrier issues a bill of lading that is called a clean BOL that your consignment, your cargo is absolutely clean. After the clean BOL, we have clean onboard BOL as the name indicates clean on board BOL. We have started the clean BOL, Bill of Lighting now. Uh, here it comes with the, here it comes with the clean on board uh, BOL. What is clean on board BOL? A consignment with no damage on packaging. We have uh, studied earlier apparently and if such consignment has gone on board, if such consignment has gone on board the vessel, a clean onboard BOL is issued. What is an unclean? Obviously when we have a clean BOL we would be having an unclean BOL. So when we are talking about the unclean BOL so there, there is something we need to understand about it and uh, that is we need to understand one thing about uh, the unclean BOL that if the owner of the ship or his agent does not agree with uh, one or more statements mentioned in the BOL like uh, you say this is a consignment this has this and this has that and they don't agree to that that, that they have experience and they, it doesn't seem that what you are describing is in, in the cargo packaging he adds a said clause or the clauses on BOL yes he can add this BOL is called unclean the ambiguous bill of lighting also uh, it can uh, it can uh, be termed as the clauses BOL that it has clauses that it has something that needs uh, still the verification and the clarifications. Uh, there is another uh, BOL that is shipped on board BOL. Uh, when we are studying uh, on a uh, shipped on board BOL, uh, we should have one thing very much clear into our mind that a ship on board BOL is issued when cargo arrives at the port in good expected conditions from the shipping carrier when the cargo is reaching the port in good and expected condition from the shipping carriers it is then loaded onto the cargo ship for transport over to the seas when it is cargoed over the ship for transport over seas it would be termed as shipped on board bill of lading BOL. Stale BOL, then we have what is stale BOL? What do we have in mind when we hear the word stale? Stale means something that has uh, been uh, not left uh, pleasant to be used. So, occasionally in the cases of short overseas cargo and transportation, it happens. Let me clear you very much uh, about this and cargo arrives to the port 
before the bill of lading prescribed date abhi bill of lading bhi nahi pahuncha aur the cargo has reached aur because the queue pahuncha hai iske andar sabse aham cheez jo yaad rakhne wali hai wo ye hai kyunki it is the short overseas cargo transportation when this happens the bill of lading it is called a stale bill then after stale a stale bill we have straight bill like the terms are uh, more of like uh, sounding the same but there's a difference stale and now we are studying the straight bill and what is straight bill it's a non negotiable instrument it's a non negotiable bill of lading where no payment is required against the goods interesting there is no payment required against the goods carrier of the uh, goods release the cargo to the consignee on production of that bill of lading and the identity of the consignee at the port of the final destination yet you do need don't need not to pay anything you just need to have the proof of identification of yourself that you have been a uh, marked in the bill of lading and here you go you have the cargo and that's called the straight bill there is another uh, bill and uh, if i uh, remember the name that is uh, to order bill of lading what is to order bill of lading um it is used for the shipments it is used for the shipments when payment is not made in advance jo humne ne piche wala padha tha uh uh um the bill of lading the straight bill of lading uske andar payment was not required but to order bill like it is made when the payment is not made in advance so uh this can be shipping from one distributors or customers on terms uh, that totally rely on the terms and conditions they have settled between them there is another bill of lading that is called trans shipment bill of lading shipping company carrier of the goods may not have the direct service to the area they you are sending your consign to and uh, for the purpose uh, the shippers but place to the consignee destination cargo is trans shipped to the intermediate ports and that is called trans shipment bol so uh, these are the major things that you need to know about the types of the bill of lading what bill of lading is and uh, if there is any um, ambiguity with our uh, viewers about the bill of lading importing exporting about their uh, ship arrest ship anchorage or is if there is any uh, misconception or if there is there stands any problem of the ship arrest or the cargo that has been uh sent is missing or has been um confiscated by the custom authorities on any port in the world uh, you are here by very much welcome to have our legal opinion legal advice and legal services from us so uh that's all for today thank you so much for your time i hope you have uh, a very interactive and informative session uh, take good care of yourself take uh, stay home and stay safe allah hafiz